All right, concept 21, writing conic sections in graphing form. <coughs> Number four, looking at this equation, let's identify what type of conic it is first. We have both variables squared, so it's either a circle, ellipse, or a hyperbola. And we have different coefficients, both positive, so this is an ellipse. So we're trying to get the equation of this ellipse in graphing form. So let's start by grouping the x's and grouping the y's. And we'll move the 61 over to the other side. When you're, <clears throat> when you're completing the square for this equation, we have to notice here that we have a coefficient other than 1 in front of the x squared. We also have a coefficient other than 1 in front of the y squared. So we need to factor out this a value and write down what's left. So we have x squared minus 4x. And we are going to have to complete the square in order to get it in graphing form. So I'm going to put a blank there to complete the square. Here I'm going to factor out the a value of 9, y squared plus 6y plus, and we need to complete the square there as well. <clears throat> On the right side of the equation, we need to add two numbers which we can determine after we add the numbers that complete the square. So here, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. For the y's, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. Be careful on this side because you are not just adding 4. You are adding 4 times 4, which is 16. And here, you're not just adding 9. You are adding 9 times 9, which is 81. So if we factor each of these, this is x minus 2 times x minus 2, x minus 2 squared. This is y plus 3 times y plus 3, or y plus 3 squared. And adding these numbers together, 97 minus 61 is 36. Now to get this in graphing form, we do need the right side of the equation to equal 1. So the last step here is to divide everything by 36. And I'm going to write graphing form over here. This reduces to 1 over 9, so x minus 2 squared over 9 <clears throat> plus, and then we have y plus 3 squared over 4 equals 1. So here we have graphing form. Now that it's in graphing form, we can answer the pertinent information here. Let's go ahead and sketch a graph of it and see if that helps us answer these questions. So we have the center here. This is h and this is k, well, x minus h, y minus k. So h is positive 2, k is negative 3, since this is y minus k. And then let's just draw a quick sketch. <clears throat> okay, we did say this is an ellipse. So let's find our vertices and covertices by using our <clears throat> denominators here. The denominator of the x squared is 9. So if we take the square root of that, that gives us our a value. So 1, 2, 3, and 3 to the left. The b squared is 4, so that means b is 2, so up 2 and down 2 in the y direction. So we have our ellipse and the only other question being asked here is, what is the length of the major axis? The definition of the major axis is the longer length of the ellipse. So from this vertex to this vertex is the major axis. So if we count the length here, we're going from negative 1 to 5, so that's a length of 6. <clears throat> okay, lastly, number 5, find the center of the circle given by this equation. In order to find the center, we need to get this into graphing form and then we'll be easily be able to identify the center. So let's group our x's and group our y's and move the 15 over to the other side. And then we can complete the square. So for the x's, b divided by 2 squared. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. And for the y's, b divided by 2, so negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. Square that and that gives you 36. We must add these two numbers over to the other side as well. So that's plus 4 and plus 36. 
we're very close to figuring the, out the center. So over here we have x plus 2 squared, y minus 6 squared. And we don't even really need to know what r squared is because we're trying to find the center. So h, x minus h, h is negative 2, and k is positive 6. So negative 2 and positive 6 would be b.